How to graph linear inequalities in two variables. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon dito sa ating matsayang talakayan. So, keep on watching! Hello, grade 8 learners! For today, we will talk about the graph of linear inequalities in two variables. With a learning competency, illustrate and graph linear inequalities in two variables. Ano nga ba ang tinatawag nating graph of linear inequalities? The graph of linear inequality in two variables is the set of all points in the rectangular coordinate system whose ordered pairs satisfy the inequality, meaning that this ordered pair will make the statement true. When a line is graphed in the partition plane or coordinate plane, it separates the plane into two regions called the half planes. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na upper half and the lower half. And the line that separates the plane is called the plane divider. How to graph linear inequalities in two variables? So, let us study the following steps. For step number one, replace the inequality symbol by an equal sign, meaning the inequality will become equation. Step number two, since we already have the equation, you have to graph the resulting equation in step number one. Paano nga bang paggagraph nito? So, Use dotted line or dashed line if the given inequality is greater than or less than. Use solid line if the given inequality is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Ano nga ba ang sinasabi natin solid line? Solid line indicates that the points on the lines are included in the solution set. Ibig sabihin nito, Lahat ng points na makikita natin sa line mismo ay kasama sa solution set. And for step number 3, we have to test points. So we will pick test point that is on one side of the boundary line. So kung possible, we are going to use 0, 0. Or, it is advisable to get points with 0 coordinates para madali lang mag-test ng points, madali lang mag-solve. And, for step number 4, shade the region that satisfies the inequality. Paano ito? If the resulting inequality in step number 3 is true, Pag yung na-solve natin sa test point in step number 3 is true, then we will shade the region containing that test point. However, if the resulting inequality is false, shade the other side of the boundary line. Para lalong maintindihan, so let us have our example. Number 1, graph y is greater than negative 2x plus 4. Step 1, papalitan natin ng equal sign yung inequality symbol. So, magiging y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Then, step number 2, we will graph the equation from step number 1. So, graph y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Since the given equation is written in slope-intercept form, it is advisable for us to use the slope and the y-intercept. Pero pwedeng gumamit ng ibang method. So let us now use 
the slope, and the y-intercept. Identify muna natin kung ano ang slope. Ang slope ay negative 2, meaning that this is negative 2 over 1. So, ang rise is negative 2 at ang run is 1. Then, identify the y-intercept. Ang b natin ay 4, which is the y-intercept. And it is represented by 0, 4. So, we will locate 0, 4 on the Cartesian plane. Okay, so this is now 0, 4. Then, apply rise over run. Dahil ang rise natin is negative 2, so we will move 2 units downward. Okay, ang run natin is 1, so we will move 1 unit to the right. Okay, then, sa pagkukonect ng points, ang line na gagamitin natin ay dashed line or dotted line dahil ang symbol natin ay greater than. Okay, for step number 3, para malaman natin kung saan ang shade natin, we will select a test point. So, since 0, 0 is possible, so we will test 0, 0. Ang 0, 0 ay nandito siya sa below the line. So, tingnan natin if 0, 0 will make the statement true. Substitute. So, we have y is 0 and x is 0. So, 0 is greater than negative 2 times 0 plus 4. Then, we have 0 is greater than 4, which is false. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin, 0, 0 is not a solution. So, sa step number 4, 0, 0 is not a solution. So, ano ang ishishade natin? Ishishade natin yung other side of the boundary line. So, hindi natin ishishade yung part ng boundary line na kung saan nandoon yung 0, 0. Sa kabila tayo mag-shishade. Okay, and this is now the graph of y is greater than negative 2x plus 4. Example number 2. Graph 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 15. Sa step number 1, papalitan lang natin yung inequality symbol by an equal sign. So, it will become 2x plus 3y equals 15. Sa step number 2, we will graph the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. In this example, ang gagamitin natin sa pag-graph ay slope and y-intercept. Since ang given equation is not written in slope-intercept form, isusulat muna natin in slope-intercept form. So, ililipat natin yung 2x sa kabilang side ng equation. Kaya, magiging 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 15. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 3. Cancel out 3. So, y is now equal to negative 2 third x plus 5. Since the equation is now in slope-intercept form, pwede na nating ma-identify ang slope at y-intercept. Ang slope ay negative 2 third, wherein ang rise natin is negative 2 at ang run is positive 3. And y-intercept is 5, meaning that this point is 0, 5. So, let us now locate 0, 5 on the Cartesian plane. From 0, okay, then 5. And that is 0, 5. So, mula doon sa 0, 5, so we will count rise over run. Rise is negative 2, so magmove tayo ng 2 units downward. And run is 3, so we will count 3 units to the right. Sa pagkukonek ng points, 
tingnan natin kung anong symbol ang ginamit. Since ang given natin na ginamit niya is less than or equal to, then we will use a solid line. This indicates that the lines or the points on these lines are part of the solution set. For step number three, we will select 00, 0 as our test point, substituting 00, 0 on the inequality. So we have 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0 is less than or equal to 15, which will give you 0 is less than or equal to 15, which is a true statement, meaning that 00, 0 is a solution. So we will shade the region where 0, 0 belongs. The shaded part of this graph will give you the points which are the solution set, including the points on the line since the boundary line is a solid line. In the previous examples, Test points are used to determine whether the solutions lie above or below the line. But, pwede nating ma-identify ang shaded part or solution without using test points, provided that they are written in the slope-intercept form. And this can be presented in the table below. So, kapag ang inequality natin is y y is less than mx plus b so ang shade natin is below the boundary line kung yan ay greater than we will shade above the boundary line if we have less than or equal to that is below the boundary line and kapag greater than or equal to that is above the boundary line for example, y is greater than x plus 5. Since ang inequality symbol natin is greater than, the boundary line is dashed or dotted line. And the shaded region is above the boundary line. Kapag naman, ang given natin ay y is less than 3x minus 5. So, the inequality symbol is less than so, the boundary line is dashed or dotted line, and the shaded region is below the boundary line. If we have y is less than or equal to 4x plus 7, the boundary line is solid line, and the shaded region is below the boundary line. And if you have y is greater than or equal to x minus 9, so, the boundary line is a solid line and the shaded region is above the line. And now, it's your turn. You have to graph y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 7. You can use a graphing paper for an accurate graph. And that's for today, guys. Mag-practice at magtsaga upang lalong maging mat galing. Again, this is Teacher Dali na nagsasabing, Practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching!